Hey there, welcome to day 190 of our BU 365 day challenge to do one thing every day that improves us. I picked a fun filter today to cover my funky eyeshadow as well as to introduce today's topic. Today's topic is all about contribution. We're focusing on contribution this month, the month of July. That's part of the life framework in order to explore how can we do one thing every day that allows us to contribute more, to show up in the world the way we want to show up. And today's topic is energy. What kind of energy do we bring to any situation? What kind of energy do we have? And then we're going to talk about nine ways we can increase our energy. Nine free ways, right? It doesn't cost anything to do most of these. I don't think it costs anything to do any of these things. It, it costs our energy, our effort. We have to put effort into things. We talk a lot about what we get out of things is what we put into them. If you put a lot of yourself, a lot of effort and energy and trying into something, you get equal or more out of that. I always told my kids that when they were going to school and I learned that when I was going to school, you can put a little bit of effort into school and get a little bit out. You can just, you know, barely pass, barely get by, or you can figure out what your teachers want and you can give them that and put effort into making sure you're giving them what they want to get the grade that you want. And once I discovered that, school became really, really easy, both high school and college. And I did have a transition between high school and college and the amount of energy I needed to put into learning and school and education versus the amount of energy I needed to put into high school. Totally different ball game. So what are nine ways that we can increase our energy? Let me grab a magnifying glass and see what my list has to say. Similar to lists of other areas and aspects of our life, right? Because energy impacts every area of our life. If I'm not physically fit and I don't have the energy to contribute to something, then I'm not going to contribute very much. If I'm mentally or emotionally or spiritually um, hurting or lacking in some way, then I'm not going to have the energy I want to put forth into something. So what are some ways we can increase energy? And then our action time today is going to be to share one way and think about one way that we can increase our energy and I guess increase our positive energy, right? We don't want to increase our anger or our doubt or worry or fear. We want to increase our positive energy and how we show up in the world. How we show up in the world not only impacts us, but it impacts all the other people around us. If we come with positive energy, that becomes infectious and spreads. If we come with negative energy, that becomes infectious and spreads as well. So we have to be careful about our own energy and the energy of the people that we hang around with, right? If we hang around with sluggish, low energy people, pretty soon we are in that sluggish state as well. So what are nine ways that we can increase our energy uh, naturally, right? Number one, control stress. Easier said than done, right? It's, it's easier to say, oh, control your stress than to actually do it. And if you want, we can talk about different ways to do that. I'm not sure if we have or not yet, uh, but there's lots of ways to deal with and handle stress. And I've had to practice many of them throughout my lifetime. Number two, lighten your load. Uh, let go of some of the things that you don't absolutely have to do or love to do or want to do and do the more of the things that you really enjoy doing. Number three, exercise. Number four, avoid smoking. I mean, I am so grateful that I never created the habit of smoking. Uh, half my family did, half of us didn't. And those that didn't, it's really interesting. And then those that did, of all of us, everybody quit except my one sister who probably should quit the most. And if she's hearing this, I hope she hears me say that. Uh, number five, reduce sleep. Now this is kind of the opposite of most advice that we get, right? Everybody says, make sure you get enough sleep. Make sure you get seven to eight hours sleep a night, da, 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 da. Well, this says if you are feeling tired and sluggish and you're low energy, it could be because you're getting too much sleep. There's a, a, a sweet spot for each and every one of us between enough sleep and too much sleep. I know if I get too much sleep, it, it wrecks my day. It wrecks my totally next day because I don't have the energy that I should. I think it's probably why I always get up at the same time every morning. No matter what day of the year it is, I get up usually the same time every morning. Uh, number six, eat for energy. This is a good one. A lot of us eat for emotional reasons, which we know we should not do, but we want to eat for energy. We need to eat foods that give us energy. And there's a whole bunch of scientific studies on different types of food and how they give you energy. 
off. But we want to eat for energy and not for quick fix energy like a lot of sweets and things. Uh, number seven, use caffeine to your advantage. Some of us need to have our cup of coffee every morning. I, I gave up coffee for five years and I can't even believe that I did, but I thought it was bad for my health. And then I came to find out it's actually for my particular blood type. It's, it's good to have some caffeine and some coffee and coffee is actually an advantageous thing for me. And I only know it always made me feel better. So I have, you know, a, co a cup or two in the morning and sometimes even in the afternoon or evening if I need a little pick me up, I use caffeine to help me out. Now I used to live on caffeine. So there again, there's a balance between, and there's always a testing period where we have to figure out what's right for us. Uh, number eight, use limit alcohol. And I think we all know that at alcohol too, once in a while, wine, red wine, for example, is also good for me. So every once in a while I have a glass of red wine, but I don't drink wine every day. I don't drink uh, alcohol every day. When I was younger, partied a lot with my friends and uh, ex-spouse, but but yeah, I think once I had kids, I totally outgrew that. So limit alcohol. And again, define what limiting alcohol is to you. I find I don't need to drink to have a good time. And actually, to me, I found in business, it's a competitive advantage if you don't drink or over imbibe. And number nine, drink water. How many times have we talked about just this year alone, the importance of hydrating and getting enough water? The vast majority of people on the planet do not consume enough water. Consume a lot of other drinks, especially in the summer. Consume a lot of energy drinks. Again, that's using caffeine wisely, but uh, don't drink enough water. So get in the habit of drinking enough water. And how do you know? There's, we have to test that out for ourselves, right? Uh, if I were to drink 64 ounces of water a day, I don't know, sometimes that would be too much for me. Um, or two gallons or whatever they say. Everybody needs to figure out and not take blanket advice and test and figure out what's right for you. If you're going to the bathroom all the time, you, you're drinking probably a little too much water. If you're waking up five, six times at night, you're drinking too much water during the day. But figure out what that is. Start with eight glasses, meaning eight cups. Eight cups, eight times eight, 64, right? 64 ounces of water. I, I totally drink 64 ounces of water a day. And then I have a cup of coffee or two and maybe a lemonade or lemon. I usually put lemon in my water, but find ways to consume more H2O because it is what most of our body is made of. So again, our action item today is share one way that you contribute positive energy or you could contribute positive energy or you could increase your energy using one of these tips or something else that you've discovered for yourself. I love to hear what you do to increase your energy. In the olden days, all I did was use more caffeine and more caffeine and more caffeine and that didn't work. Although I think the formaldehyde and all the diet soda I consumed did help me when I had my sudden cardiac arrest. All right, energy, any questions, concerns? comments on this topic hit me up otherwise i will be with you tomorrow and we're going to talk about another topic with respect to contribution and i say contribution how we show up in the world how we give value how we make the world a better place all right have a great day i'm gonna lose the butterflies